Yeah. I love all bitches. Brown square over bitches. Rich poor slave bitches. Smart dumb crazy bitches. Rude horny dirty bitches. Yeah. How's it going, everyone? How's it going? So I have something pretty sweet to uh, to tell you guys. I have finally achieved. It's been a while. I uh, kind of got a little bit of a setback ever since my old channel kind of got like a strike on it. And I had to move channels. I probably would have hit this about a year ago. Uh, but thankfully today is a sweet day. I have actually finally reached it. And some of you guys might already know what I'm talking about because I've seen a few comments in the past few, few videos that I've talked about it. And it is this, the 100,000 subscriber mark. Thanks to uh, Flores, one of my friends in RS. Uh, he took uh, a picture of exactly 1,000, so I guess he stalked me for a little bit. But yes, thank you very much for all of you guys that have subscribed to my channel. It's a huge achievement to reach, especially in the RuneScape category, I would say. I mean, 100,000 is quite solid. And that looks, and before I refresh, and I have like 99,300. Oh, yeah. All right, we're 26 over. Thank God. That would have been pretty embarrassing if that's under 100,000 right now. But yeah, I believe you do actually do get something uh, from achieving 100,000. I think you get some type of plaque from YouTube or something like that. So I, I think I have to give them like my address or something like that. They send me a plaque that I put on my wall and probably forget to show you guys or something. Anyways, on to the point. Um, so uh, yes, thank you very much for all of you guys that have been subscribing. And before this video goes out, Alkin sucks like negative 1k subs tonight or some shit. That'd be funny. Now I'm going to tell you guys in the next five seconds if you guys don't want to have to cringe maybe at this a little bit. I, as I told you guys uh, on the weekend, or if you guys saw me on Twitter, uh, I tweeted a picture of my nose when it broke. Uh, and I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about that since I seem to always sometimes tell you guys a little bit of my life story and stuff like that, and things that are going on. So if you guys don't like seeing those type of pictures, maybe you might want to look away. It's nothing that bad. It's just a broken nose. There's no bone or anything coming out of it. But I'm going to put it over the screen for you guys in a second. All right, hopefully I gave you guys enough time to look away. And here it comes. Boom, that is, it's actually, now that I look at it, it doesn't look that bad at you. I, I've, I've actually Googled it and I've seen a lot worse and kind of thankful mine wasn't too horrible. But um, yeah, as you guys can tell, that was a rugby injury uh, and on Saturday this happened. I think our team actually has a game today, which I'm obviously not going to. But yeah, that's uh, that a pretty bad injury. So anyways, I went to the hospital, obviously. Um, I was playing in Fergus. Like, I don't really care if I tell you guys where I was playing because... You can go to Fergus if you want. I don't think I'll ever go back there. So, yes, Fergus in Ontario. Um, I had a game there, which is about an hour or so drive from my house. Uh, and I must say, no offense to anyone that lives there, but it's it's a pretty dead place, man. There was, like, the hospital you went to was so small. There was no one there. It was, like, four people working or some shit in the emergency room. I don't even know. Like, five people. Um and uh, yeah, apparently that day also they actually had a lot of rugby players come in because there was like 10 rugby games or some shit that went on that day at the same area. Um, and actually, I, I met one of the guys there that I was actually playing against. Uh, I went out right around halftime, and I guess like 10 minutes after halftime, he also went there and kind of saw each other there. But yes, I have been very unlucky this rugby season. I've played rugby for about four years throughout high school. I don't think I've once injured myself. I've had one injury, actually, I just remembered, in grade nine, where I uh, I cut, like, my, uh, what do you call it? Like, right around your eyebrow, basically. Um, I banged my head against another player, and, like, a little cut happened, and gushing blood went everywhere. Um, and I got that stitched up. And another injury I had was, like, popping my shoulders. Uh, in grade nine as well, which I think everyone that plays rugby or football, lacrosse, hockey, anything like that, has a little bit of contact. You're going to probably dislocate some stuff. But hey, we did end up winning the game, which was sweet. That was the game right there. The next game is on the ninth, actually. I think a different team has the game today um, in the 23rd. I might be able to play the last game of the season, but I don't think I'll be able to. But it's awesome that we've so far had an uh, unbeatable season. Now, I'm going to ask you guys, I think this is a little bit weird, you know, I mean, I understand Hollywood movies are kind of a joke normally most of the time, but when someone breaks their nose, they normally fix it right away in those movies. I guess that's not how you actually do it IRL, um, but I, whenever I went to Fergus, they told me that a specialist was going to call me in a few days, so I thought I was going to get my nose fixed in a few days. Um, so I didn't go to the gym just so I didn't, you know, hurt myself or anything. Anything worse can obviously happen. Um, so I took a few days off the gym, obviously, and then... I go to the hospital around my house because uh, the other guy wasn't calling me. And they tell me it takes around six weeks before they actually put your nose back into place. Now, I'm not too sure how legit that is. Like, I feel like if you wait that long, it's something, it might not be able to be forced back. Um, but they did tell me they're going to be basically breaking my nose, uh, re-breaking it at least, and then putting it back into place. So that sounds comforting. 
But yes, have any guys broken your nose ever, and how long exactly did you have to wait to get your nose re-put? But I'm happy to say that my nose is actually, it almost looks normal now, I'm not going to lie. Like it's, It has a little bit of a bump on the left side, but it looks a lot more straight now. It kind of just fixed itself. Um, but I feel like if you wait so long, like, will it actually go back to normal? I have no idea. Yeah, I guess if it doesn't, then I get to sue the people and say, hey, you guys fucked up my nose. Now I need surgery, and that's great. But yeah, it looks like I'll be stuck with a sort of crooked nose for about, I don't know, six weeks. That's going to be really awesome. But yeah, that's, uh, that's that. So anyways, I want to talk to you guys about a little small thing I'm working on the side. Um, I can show you guys quickly right here that I have my other RS, well, number one boss basically right there logged on. Uh, well, at least I was logged on right now. I'm not. This doesn't show your IP in any way, does it? No. Okay, good. Yeah, but I want to say this does look really nice. It looks awesome the way you can, also you can obviously see your name when you're in the lobby as well. Sometimes I get confused exactly which account was in the lobby and I end up logging on this one by accident sometimes. But um, yeah, it tells you all this stuff. It tells you how many spins you even have, which is kind of weird. It's like, hey, log on. You got a spin waiting for you or some shit. Anyways, uh, I am sort of working on a, not, it's not exactly a series, it's just kind of like a little challenge, and I, 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 I'm pretty sure I could stick to it, it's something I could easily do while multi-logging, um, but I am starting to think about killing a thousand armadal bosses on RF3, not on old school, because that would take a lot longer, obviously, and I'd have to find a team, and all that. maybe sometime in the future, but right now, um, I, I've enjoyed killing armadal bosses a lot in the past, and I've started killing a little bit right now, and it's pretty easy to solo right now, uh, but I'm only using chaotic goals as well, so that's a pretty good thing, I guess. Um, but yes, I'm working on a video, uh, sort of an introduction for that, and I'm going to hopefully kill 100 armadal bosses the first video that ever goes out for it, and then every few days maybe I'll, I'll upload the next 100, which it does take roughly, I think, I think you kill around 15 an hour or something like that. I think I had like 80 or 90 kill count by the time my hour was done with paying the 200k coins thingy. Um, so I think you it might take like 7 hours a day just to complete 100 of them. Which is quite a long time, obviously, because I have to multi-log the entire thing, or else it's a waste of time for me. Now, if you want to do some spoilers, yes, you can go check my A-log on... Actually, I should put my A-log on private, so you guys can't... I might... I'm, yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to put my A-log on private on number one boss, so you guys can't see what I've gotten so far. Because um, that might kind of ruin it. But I have gotten a few items already. I even got some brawling gloves, which is, I guess, kind of cool as well. I kind of forgot that you, you... I might actually might get quite a few of those from killing these. Yeah, it's just a, kind of like a side project that I can do. I can show you guys, you know, some type of progress or something else rather than just my stats. Um, and the next video I do want to upload sometime tomorrow, hopefully, will be... Um, I, it's a video I, I kind of wanted to do for a while, but I, I just never really knew if people would enjoy it. Tell me if you guys would like to enjoy this or not. Uh, but basically telling you guys what I'm going to or how I plan on finishing the rest of my 200 mil stats. And uh, what I'm going to be doing and how, basically. And just a few things. It doesn't sound too interesting, but... I can make it hopefully a little bit interesting by the time I'm done. Maybe I'll even do some math and see estimated time until I am actually done the game. But yes, looking at my stats now, currently I, I, I can tell I'm actually getting quite close, which is kind of exciting, but at the same time it's kind of not, just because things like this got absolutely ruined, but, you know. I guess all I have to say is... That was Beast. But anyways, I'm going to wrap the video up here, guys. just wanted to say thanks a lot once again for the 100k subs. Awesome to reach, like I said. And I, I guess I will see if I'm going to get a plaque delivered or not. Um, hopefully it doesn't have my full name on it or something like that. Because I don't know if I actually want to show it to you guys. I mean, in reality, most people that reach 100k subs would show their full names. But not in the RuneScape category. No way. It's pretty unfortunate when you think about it. But it's kind of the way it is. I love how that is a video. Is that the video that has my default right now when you go to my channel? It's supposed to be my monthly wrap-ups, but I don't know why it's showing that, but okay. Anyways, I'll see you guys next video, and um, yeah, I hope you guys are looking forward to the series. And I'm kind of having some fun doing it on the side, to be honest. Um, and uh, yeah, like I said, hopefully sometime tomorrow or the next day, I'll upload a video talking about my RS, how I'm going to be basically finishing my account. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next video. All kinds of games in this bitch.